Right, hi everyone, welcome uh, back. Uh, this is another Stack Attack. This is Stack Attack 200, part three. I say 200, I don't know if exactly 200, but that's what I was told on the phone, and it sort of looked a bit like 200, so that's why I call it the 200. So we're all ready to go. This time I put listen to's, a little note there, listen to's and keeps. So I don't think, I, so I, I don't, I should, I should put S on that, shouldn't I? I put an S on it, there we go, keeps. Um, uh, and there, so records that I sort of know that yeah, I'm going to keep them. Uh, listen to because I don't know, I'm not sure what's on them. And re rejects are going to go behind me, and and, that, and rejects include things like baritones, organs, brass bands, including military bands and pianos and stuff like that that I don't like. So <laughs> anything that's uh, classical and stuff like that also. So uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, somebody noticed these the other week uh, when I, oh, well, whenever it was, I put the last one up. Um, these are the comedy teeth, by the way, not my real teeth. Um, <laughs> I, I used them on that uh, video that I did a little while back. This, this is impossible, isn't it? I can't talk. Oh, you can't even keep you can't even keep a straight face, can you? I mean, what's the point of me? Hold on a minute. Yes, that's the one. Right. So these ones uh, were all separate in the in the collection of two hundred. They they come in. Uh, they they look. They're all been put into these envelopes, which I thought was interesting. So I put them all together. They were mostly all together anyway. So they might come from another collection within the collection. Maybe the collector. Like us all, we all find other collections and that. So I don't know. We'll just see how we go with these. Uh, I I don't know what's here. So I haven't looked through them. They have been written on, but I haven't looked through them. I don't know what's in here. So we're going to get them all out, have a look and see what we've got. So first one is the Master's Voice. His Master's Voice, HMV, the song I love, a whispering baritone. Oh dear. Oh dear. So, and that's the other side. That's my weakness now. Well, my weakness now is uh, baritones and they go straight onto the reject pile behind me. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, let's, hope this, let's hope this doesn't turn out to be an awful... Uh, oh, Gracie Fields, we're living at the cloisters. And on the other side is so tired. So tired. Now, you, you know, I'm not a big fan of Gracie Fields. Some of the stuff I love, some of the stuff I don't. But I'm going to put it onto the listen to pile. But I imagine that might well be rejected because it's not one that I recognise. Uh, BD label. Oh, Glenn Miller. Jungle Bells. And... American Patrol. I've got this one. I know I've got this one because I was sorting through them the other day, my Glenn Millers. Uh, so it goes on the keeps. It's a spare, another spare. Let's have a look and see what's in this one. Oh, this is a Columbia. So, oh, Fred Astaire. I've got a Fred Astaire. Wow, we saw the sea. And on the other side is, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. Um, Fred Astaire from the film follow the fleet well i've just been given a uh, kindly given one by brian 78's uh, fred astaire so that's my second one so that goes definitely i would have thought on the keeps i'll keep that on the keeps right this one we've got a Decca label here oh no oh no 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 not charlie kunz is it kunz that you, do you know how you pronounce it i don't know but we can see what's on there do you want, do you want to have another look uh it's melodies awful stuff awful stuff <laughs> for all you lover of uh mr coons or whatever his name is i don't know how you pronounce it even really but it goes on the ray jet pole that's the definite moving on to the next one Let's see what's in there dun 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 oh it's a it's a rex label oh it's leslie holmes what do you give a nudist on her birthday Ooh, it's got to be a comedy one, isn't it? And I bought myself a bottle of ink. Wow. Well, that's going to go on the listen to pile. That's going to go onto the listen to pile. There we go. Listen to pile. The next one is. Dun dun dun. Oh, it's BD label. Joe Loss. Oh dear. I've got now 56 or seven. <laughs> they keep building up the Joe losses. I keep putting them to one side. So that's going to go uh, over to one side. It's going to go into a, a Joe Loss collection that I will be moving on one day. I keep saying I will move them on, but uh, I don't know what we've got here. Brunswick. 
in the apple shade off the old apple tree, the Mills Brothers, and Louis Armstrong. Wow, got Louis Armstrong on this one. The old folks at home. The Mills Brothers and Louis Armstrong. Well, that's, that's inter interesting, maybe, because although I'm not a fan of the Mills Brothers, um, and Louis Armstrong is, uh, well, he's, he's sort of hit and miss with me, Louis Armstrong. Um, I know he's supposed to be one of the greatest jazz to, uh, uh, guys of all time. You know his voice and his, and his um, playing off the uh, trombone, but not trombone, not bugle. Clarinet, no, not clarinet. Oh, got out of my head. Trumpet. Um, but uh, I'm not. I'm not. Some of this stuff, I, I, I don't know. Some of this stuff is, is is great. Some of this stuff is maybe not so. Maybe the, the newer stuff. Anyway, what do we got here? I'm, I'm babbling, babbling away. The master's voice again. Uh, and this is uh, John, John Goss. And when I die, the last long mile. And the cathedral male voice and quartet, cathedral male voice quartet. No, that's going on the reject pile because I know what that's going to be like, and I, I, I just know. So it's reject, reject. Oh, I'm going to fall over soon if I'm not careful, then I'll be getting told off. Ah, oh, this is the second one off White Christmas. I've got two copies now off White Christmas, Bing Crosby, and let's have the new year right. Let's, let's start the new year right, shall I say. Right, so that's great, that's a keep. That means I've got two copies. That's brilliant because uh, there was two copies in the 200. So that's, that's brilliant because I had two copies previously but they were both broken. Parlophone, Woody Herman, Northwest Passage. And on the other side is uh, Woody Herman and Apple Honey. Woody Herman's Apple Honey. Woody Herman's Apple Honey. <laughs> Woody Herman and his orchestra. Oh dear me, it's all going wrong. I, I should have, I've got my glasses here. I should put them on, shouldn't I? I should put them on. It's not just my glasses, it's just that I can't pronounce anything. Right, that's a, that's a, that's a keep. That's a keep. Let's put the glasses on, shall I? Here we are. I'll put my glasses on. How's that? Now I can't see anything until I get close up. Right, now, the next one is... Uh, it's uh, a quint quintetti of the Hot Club of France, Oriental Shuffle, Slow Foxtrot. After You've Gone, oh, After You've Gone. I always like to listen to a version of After You've Gone. I hope this is a good one. This is going on the listen to pile. But it's gonna be a keep, I reckon, but it's gonna go on the listen to pile. Nice to hear a different version of After You've Gone. <sighs> Henry Hall, ah, oh, Henry Hall and his orchestra. Now I was talking about Henry Hall a little while back. Hometown, hometown from George Blake's Palladium Musical. Hometown, I know that. The first time I saw you. Yes, Henry Hall and his orchestra. Now, was there, wasn't that was that uh, Alan and Flagon? Uh, Alan and Flagon, Alan and Flanagan. Didn't they? They did a hometown. Hometown. Do 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 do. I, I don't know. Get how it goes now. But I, I, I recognise the title anyway. Let me get this back in here again. Right, but well, we're going to put it on a keep. Oh, not keep. We're going to put it on a listen to pile. Right, the next one. The next one to come out. Oh, it's a decker with a very. Well, that's happened to the label there. I've not seen that before. Can you see that? Uh, King's Rhapsody, Part One, the London Theatre Orchestra. And on the other side is King's Rhapsody Selection. Selection, Part Two. Hmm. Not sure about this, not sure at all really. And because I'm not sure, it's gonna go on the listen to pile. The next one we pull out, let's have a look, let's see what it is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's HMV. Drop me off at Harlem. Harry Hayes and his band. Swing music, 1945 series. And uh, on the other side is um, first edition. Swing music, Hayes, Harry Hayes and his band. Hmm, interesting. I think this is probably going to be good. Uh, I, th I hope. Not 100% sure. Listen to. The next one and we've got here is uh, on the Decca label again. The George Mitchell Choir. The song is ended. A choir. Uh, here we go. Oh, let me see. I've got to concentrate. Whispering. 
Mm, instrumental accompaniment. I don't think this is going to be any good. I think I should put this on a reject pile, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to put it on the reject pile. We're going to be brutal. We're going to be brutal. And put it on the reject pile. Next one up. Another Decker. Oh, it's Ted Heath. <laughs> My heart goes crazy. And on the other side is S. So would I. Ted Heath and his music. No, I'm not a fan of Ted Heath. A couple of things he does. Only a couple. But I'm not a fan of Ted Heath. So it goes on the reject pile. Oof. Moving on. What have we got now? Oh. HMV. Dusk. The... Malacrino, Malacrino, or something, strings. Uh, you see that? Should get closer for you guys, shouldn't I? Really awkward to see these. Vision de Amor. Uh, I, I, I don't think I'm going to like this. I'm going to put it on the reject pile. Being brutal, I know. Rex label. Yes. What's it going to be? Oh. Phyllis Rob Robbins, Phyllis Robbins, my kid's a crooner, and no, no, a thousand times no. Well, I sort of know that song. I think it's going to be a listen to. I don't know the Philip Phyllis Rob Robbins. I, I don't I don't know if if I think I might have listened to her before. I'm not sure if she's a reject or not. So we'll put her on a listen to next one. Oh, another Rex label. Oh, Lex Label's got a crack in it. Right, oh, it's got a bad crack in it. There, it's got a crack. I don't know if you can see that. There's definitely a crack there. Peter Bob keeps a lollipop shop. Jack Payne. Oh, it's Jack Payne. And it would have a crack in it, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Oh, that's a shame. What a shame. The one that's got a crack in it is the one that I would definitely want to keep. Uh, it's probably not going to sound great, but I'll put it on the listen to pile. Oh, this is a small one. This is a small one. What have we got? Oh, it's an eclipse. Someone like you. Uh, something Roy and his, and his RK, something, blah, blah, blah. I can't read it. I can't read that. Uh, RK something. Not sure about that. It's a, it's a, it's a, it goes in, I have got a load of eclipses and I'm going to put it in the eclipse, in the eclipse box. Because we are going to do a, a late night eclipse listening once, because I've got, uh, I've not got a clue what they've got. Oh, Java Drive, Java, Java Jive. <laughs> I've just, I've just actually given a copy of this away as well. So now I've got one come back. And I say give it away because I was, I'm not quite. I don't. I don't. I'm not a big fan of the ink spots, but I'll put it in the keeps at the moment. And uh, if anybody else, you know, if I come across somebody else who wants inks and ink spots, and you know, I have got quite a few somewhere. This is a uh, Clopin Cleopant, English French, sung by Jean Cavell with orchestra. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Not sure about this one. Oh, this is this is perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. I don't know. I think that's a reject, to be honest. I think it's a reject. Oh, I'm gonna put it on the reject pile. I say I'm being brutal because I need to. This is the last. Is this the last one? No, one more left after this. Have a look. Oh, BD label. Oh, it's blinking Joe Loss. <laughs> this here we are. Barrel House Boogie. And my guys come back. I'm not a fan of Joe Ross, as I said. I have got quite a few. I've got now, it's supposed to be about 58 or 57 that I've got uh, of Joe Loss um, records. I'll put it in a Joe Loss section straight away. I won't, I'll be honest with you guys, I won't even listen to it, I think, because I just, just don't like, especially in the 50s. I don't mind his earlier stuff, early, early stuff. A lot of his stuff on Zonophone, Regal Zonophone's not bad, but um, the BD label ones. Frank Sinatra, Day by Day, and You Are Too Beautiful. And that's it. That's a shame. Uh, this will go in the Frank uh, 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 Sinatra section that I've got. Again, um, some of them are all right for playing on the electric players and that. I will play them on there. 
uh, but yeah, not a great, not a great uh, selection out of that lot. But um, there we go. That's that's how it goes um, sometimes. So there we are. Uh, so that's the end of uh, the new stuff, apart from stuff that I don't know that I've got, which I've got quite a few bits and pieces on the shelves that I don't know what I've got really. But apart from that, that's it for this one. Um, until I find some more, uh, you'll have to wait and see on that one. But thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone. Have a, it's, well, if it's the weekend, have a great weekend. If it's not, then, well, have a great weekend when it is the weekend. Bye for now.